video on how to cut and sew elegant flounced sleeve okay elegant flounced sleeve so i am making use of this satin fabric and you can use any fabric of your choice you can use african prints you can use your brother satin you can use scuba it depends but you're making use of any fabric that have structure so that you can have this your flounced shape and in order for it to stand well you need fabrics that have structure okay so I'm making use of this brighter satin. Now the first thing we have to do now is to fold our fabric into four. In order for you to fold your fabric into four, you are also to use the measurements determines or depends on where you want to fix your flaws to, right? So we'll go ahead now and fold our fabric into four. This is our fabric this way. You fold your fabric into two. You fold your fabric into two this way and then you fold it again into two so this is basically how to cut your flay you are basically folding your fabric in a flay shape how to cut your 360 flay so this is what it looks like so i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into two and then you fold it again into four so i'll go ahead now and just cut this out so that you guys can have a clear look of what we have so guys now we've gone ahead now to fold our fabric into four and this is basically what our fabric looks like now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark the length of our flaws okay the length of what we need and also take our radius now we are also going to be making use of this crinoline i hope you guys can see it this is crinoline and i am making use of the black color so they have the white crinoline and also the black i think it comes in different colors let me know put that in the comment section but i'm making use of this black crinoline and because my fabric is actually black so now let's go ahead now and take the length of what we need. So my length now, my total length of what I need is about 10 inches. So I'll go ahead and place my tape measure from this folded edge. From this folded edge now, I'll go ahead and mark 10 inches. From this folded edge, you can see the way my tape measure is. Now you take it to this part. Go ahead and mark 10 inches. Go ahead and mark your 10 inches and then you take it to this part and you mark your 10 inches. Once you are done, you go ahead and connect the lines together. This is what you have. So the next thing we are going to do now is to mark the radius of what our flounce is. So if you want to attach your flounce to your sleeve, it simply means that the radius here will be equal to your round sleeve. But if you just want to use it as a design on your clothes, then you can go ahead and make use of 3 inches, 4 inches. It depends on what you want and also where you want to attach your flounce to. So I'm going to go ahead now and make use of 4 inches for my flounce for the radius. So you go ahead and place your tape measure this way to indicate where you have your 4 inches. Go ahead and mark it. Place your tape measure just like the way you do for your flay. Place your tape measure to this part. We have 4 inches. Take it this way. Okay. Take it this way now. You have 4 inches. Take you to this part you have four inches connect the lines together this is what you are going to have so you have your radius and then you have your length so if you are attaching this to your round sleeve your radius should be your round sleeve divided by four and of course you add your allowance to it but if you just want to use it to create design on the clothes then you can basically use whatever you want and it depends on how full you want your flows to be so i'll go ahead now and cut this out it out this is what it looks like so you are basically going to go ahead now and open up one part 
now for me i am making it of the same fabric to line it note that it's optional you can make it of the same fabric or you can use a different fabric but just for neatness and make sure that you have something neat it's advisable that you use the same fabric to turn it so now this is the same fabric now we want to cut out our lining we folded it also into two we'll go ahead now and fold it again into four so we'll go ahead and fold it into four and this is what it looks like so i'll basically just go ahead now and place the main fabric on it and cut it out okay so that i don't need to start taking the measurements again so i'll place it on it make sure i pin it down so that it doesn't move then i will go ahead now and cut this out so now we've gone ahead now to cut this out it simply means that we have two pieces okay one for the main fabric and the other one for our lining so the next thing we have to do now is to give this a form of structure and when you are achieving styles like this it's advisable you add um your state to it just to give it the structure and to make it stand well because the beauty of this style is that at the end of the day your flaws actually stand right so we are going to attach our stay to this our stay we have paper stay this is the soft paper stay okay this is the soft paper stay and we have gum stay so of course gum stay is stronger than your paper stay and if you add gum stay to it it makes it more thicker and it's going to stand well right so if you're adding gum stay to like your scuba fabric you know the result you're going to have is really going to stand well and if you're adding gum stay to like your brighter satin you know it's going to stand well right now you can also use your color stay you can use your color stay if you really want it to be very very strong but for me i feel like gum stay or paper stay is fine however it depends on the um, on the fabric you are working with and also your choice so if you want something that really stands well like very strong you can use your color stay so that is it so i'm going to go ahead now and iron my stay on both my lining fabric and also my main fabric so after ironing my stay on the fabrics and then i'll show you guys what next we have to do so guys now uh, this is what we have for the first layer and the second layer which is our lining so i've gone ahead now to iron my stay to it and this is what it looks like and i also ironed my stay to the second piece also now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead now and fix in our crinoline to it right so we are basically going to be sewing our crinoline we are basically going to be sewing our crinoline to this now this is the crinoline it stretches so when you are sewing it you don't have to pull it okay so basically just go ahead now and place your crinoline this way you can pin it down so that you are sure it doesn't move so while you are sewing it don't stretch it don't stretch it if you stretch it you're not going to have like a very good effect so just place it on it place it on it okay but when you are sewing it leave about half an inch at this part the reason why you are leaving half an inch at this part is because you are going to use the second piece to turn it as your lining so just to leave room for your lining then you go ahead now and stitch this make sure you don't pull this okay make sure you don't pull this so you go ahead now and stitch this final line all the way round to this part all the way around so once i'm done stitching it i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now we've gone ahead now to sew our crinoline you can see what it looks like so basically you are not pulling your crinoline when you are sewing it so we've gone ahead now to stitch it all the way around and this is what we have by the time you turn it this way so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and take the second piece which will serve as your lining and then you go ahead and stitch it all the way round so you go ahead and stitch this all the way round after stitching it i'll show you guys what it looks like 
so guys after turning it right we've gone ahead now to stitch it this way you've gone ahead to stitch it and then you turn it in this is basically what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and give it a nice press so that it can lay well at this edge okay so you can see so once we are done with that i'll show you guys what next you have to do so you have to just iron this to make sure that it's flat and also bring out all the edges right so once we are done now i'll show you guys what next we have to do so this is basically what it looks like so this is just So we've not ironed it yet, but you can see, okay, let me just go ahead and iron this and then we'll continue from. So guys, now we've gone ahead to iron it. You can see how it lays, like it lays very well. So just make sure you give it like a very odd press. So the next thing you're basically going to do now, and for the other side, this is what you have. So for both sides, this is what you have. So I'll just go ahead now and trim off this part where my paper stay is showing. And then I'll show you guys what next. So after trimming it now, you can see that what we have here is neat. So you can go ahead now to your weaving machine or your scissor machine. And then you go ahead and interlock this part. Or you can use your bias to tape it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys what next you have to do. So at this point now, you are basically going to run your gathers foot round. So you go ahead now and run your gather stitch. Rather, go ahead and run your gather stitch all the way. So guys, now you can see what it looks like. And look at the shape. You can see the shape already, how we just stands and it's so cute guys so now we want to like gather this up to give us the shape so we've gone ahead now to run our gather stitch on this part all the way around so what we are going to do now is just to basically go ahead and pull this please do it carefully be careful while you are pulling this so that hmm, it doesn't end up cutting okay i'm sure you don't want to pass through that stress so I'll just go ahead now and you know keep pulling the thread. So this is what we have. Look at where we've put the thread already. Can you see how it stands? So I'll just go ahead and do that. I need to be very careful so that I don't cut the thread. So if you find this video very interesting, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and visit our website i can't lay emphasis on that enough we have amazing guys can you see the shape already just pulling it out we are just basically pulling it can you see the shape you can see i'm not holding this but you can see how we have that rose effect already so just go ahead and do this you know gently gently and you are going to get to the tip so visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website and one advantage of visiting our blog is that you can print out your pattern right so we have detailed illustration with patterns on our blog and it's actually very very interesting and you also have like the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one chats with me by just clicking on the link on the blog post so i'll just go ahead now and you know keep pulling this and you can see the shape already you can see that it's coming up so let me go ahead and do that and i'll show you guys what it looks like pulling this okay while you are pulling it you can determine how wide you want your rows to be so if you feel like what you have at this point is okay then you stop but if you feel like you still want it to be 
more full you know you want it to be more full and smaller then you keep adjusting it so you're basically just adjusting this to the size of what you want and the more tight it is the more your shape comes out and the more beautiful effect you will have so by you can see what it looks like this is like another shape already and this is the front you can see what it looks like so now we've gone ahead now to do that we've gone ahead now to do that so at this point now what next you have to do is your level of creativity okay you have to be creative as possible because the way you style this will determine the kind of outfits you have and also the design so let me pull it a little more i really want mine to be very tight so that i can have so you see this is like another design you can see that this one just gives us like you can decide to open it or just close it so let me go ahead now and put this on the mannequin and show you guys like this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to sew your trendy flaws rose okay and you can basically style this in different ways so let me go ahead now and show you guys different ways in which you can style this you just go ahead now and you can go ahead and join all these parts together to give you your rose so you can attach your rose to the midpoint of your dress if you want it to come as a sleeve you can attach it to this side you can see you just basically go ahead and tack it and then you have your sleeve now you can also go ahead now it's just about you being creative you can go ahead now and open this this way open it this way attach this part to your shoulder and give you a rose shape you can see like we have our rose effect at this midpoint and if you maybe you are dealing with off shoulder you want to open this up and attach it to your off shoulder you can see what we have and this is so cute you can see like it has different waves and that so another one again or another way in which you can style this you can just go ahead now and couple this up open up the middle this way and then you place it on your dress so you can see that this is different from the first one you can see that this part stands and this other part stands and then we have this small one so you can just attach it to any part it could be the side it could be your waistline you can basically attach it to your waistline this way you can attach it to your sleeve or to one part it depends on what you want then and there are different ways guys this is where your creativity comes to play there are different ways in which you can style this so just go ahead now and wrap it you can go ahead and wrap this to give you like layers of your flame so you can see what we have now you can see that this can give you like three layers like one two three this is what it looks like so you can style it in different ways so if you're interested in learning how to make this then stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe